Okay, so hi guys, I am Miss Lollipop and welcome to my channel if you are new. So in today's video, we are going to be going over how to install reshade for The Sims 4 and also how to install my Vibrance reshade preset. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about how to do that, then stay tuned for the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first things first, I will include all the links to everything in the description so you guys can go ahead and grab those. So first of all, you're going to get a link to my Tumblr page, which is where you'll find the reshade preset and any other links that you need. Okay, so if you go ahead and scroll all the way down, we can see that we first have links to the reshade download, which obviously you're going to need. So go ahead and open that up. Then we've also got my preset download, which if you want to go ahead and download the V1 version, obviously it's just here. You can go ahead and get that opened up. This will link to the V1 version, which is the one that you've seen all the screenshots for. And I've also uh, recently released a V2 version, which is basically an even more vibrant version of V1. So if you fancy your eyeballs being burned um, and want to go for the V2 version, you can. Can. you can actually have both in your game at the same time and swap between them depending on which one you want so even if you just want to download both and then decide which one you like the most uh, you can go ahead and do that as well so go ahead and open up the v2 preset depending on what one you want um make sure you've got the reshade download open the reshade preset or both if you want to and that way we're both in the same position okay <laughs> All right, so first things first, we need to go ahead and get Reshade installed. So I, we want to go ahead and download the most recent version of Reshade that we know works for this preset and all up, pretty much all other presets for The Sims 4. Uh, so go ahead and click on the Reshade Setup 4.9.1. This is the most recent version of uh, a version 4. And then we can just go ahead and get that downloaded. Go ahead and do that. Any ads that open up, just go ahead and close, okay? Um, it might say that this could be harmful with your computer. It is not. Um, it's it's reshade, I swear. Okay, everything's fine. It's normal. And then we've also got the V1 version of my Vibrance reshade preset. So you can go ahead and click the download button on that. This will also say the same thing, that this file can harm your computer. It cannot. It's only a reshade preset. It can't do anything else. You can just go ahead and click keep. I promise it's fine. Um, if I give you a virus... <laughs> i've been on youtube for a few years okay you can come back and <laughs> you can come back and give me some backlash but i swear i promise it's not don't even worry about it it's absolutely fine and then you also go ahead and download the v2 version of the preset as well if you want depending on whatever one you want v1 or v2 obviously the original is is nothing and obviously the v2 version has v2 in the title so you know the difference between the two you can go ahead and click download on that one it will say the exact same thing but go down here and make sure you click keep and then now we've got everything installed that we need to so now it's just a case of finding out how to install it, getting it installed, loading up our game and using it. All right, so purely for ease, I've just gone ahead and moved everything to our desktop. Everything was just in the downloads folder, so I just went ahead and popped it out. You guys should know, obviously, all your downloads will go to your downloads folder if you've installed mods or anything like that for Sims. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and find it in there, but purely for ease, I'm going to go ahead and open everything on our desktop so we can see it. It's nice and easy to see. You can see that we've got all of our files here. So first up, we have our reshade installer, which is just right here. This is actually how we're going to install the program. And we've also got um, the Vibrance Reshade preset, which is the version 1 version that you saw all the screenshots of. And we've also got the version 2, which is the even more vibrant version. Bear in mind, we can install both of them. We need to go ahead and install the Reshade program. So we can go ahead and double click on that and it should just completely load up like this. Now it's asking us to click here to select a game. So you can just go ahead and select on this box. It should load this up and sometimes games will show up in here. You can see some of my games are actually in here, but for some reason The Sims doesn't show up in here. I'm not really sure why. So we actually have to browse and, and search for our game. With this, it works out differently for everybody, okay? Because some people have their Sims installed to different places. So this is quite important that you go ahead and get the right place to install your sims first up reshade does not work for mac so if you are trying to do this on anything but a windows pc it is not going to work so just bear that in mind if you're trying to do this and you're like it's not working it's not loading that will be because you're on a mac it does not work i had a few questions about that in the last video as well <laughs> right so you can go ahead and click on the browse button and this should bring you to your desktop now we need to go ahead and locate where sims is installed this isn't in your documents folder if you're used to installing mods for the sims 4 this isn't in the same place where you would install mods this is actually where your sims 4 is installed to now this is normally different for everybody but i've got an easier way for you to go ahead and find out how to find your sims installation you should be able to go to your start button down here in the bottom left and you should be able to type in the sims 4 now in here, your Sims 4 should load up. You can see it here. And on the right hand side, you can see you can open it, you can run it, all of this stuff. So we wanna go ahead and open the file location. So go ahead and do that for me. 
this should bring up where your Sims 4 uh, shortcut is. We don't want this, okay? So go ahead and right click on the Sims 4 here and click open file location again. And this should bring you to your Sims 4 folder. So my Sims 4 folder is a little bit hectic. It should look a little bit different to yours. There's a bunch of reshade presets in here. So that'll be why it looks a little bit different to yours. As you can see, I've got my reshade presets already installed. Wherever this leads you to, it could be a completely different place, okay? So up here, this is, this is the file location. So if you go from your PC, this is into one of your drives and then Origin Games, Sims 4. This is where I've got mine installed. This might say something different, but that's absolutely fine. This is where your Sims 4 is installed. Go ahead and click on this thing up here and it's just going to highlight. Go ahead and right click on that and click copy. And now you've got your installation folder for your Sims 4. So we can go ahead and get that closed. That's absolutely fine. Go back to here and we can go ahead and click browse. When we do that, if we now click back up in the same section, we can just go ahead and do this can delete that, right click, and then click paste. Then it will send us to the exact same place that we just was. Go ahead and click enter, and there we go. Now it sent us to our exact same place that we just was. Now, we want to install it for The Sims 4. So you can go ahead and click The Sims 4. Um, so it might not necessarily look like this, but this is absolutely fine. If this is where you have, if this is where your computer has led you to, that's the main importance, okay? So wherever, you went ahead and opened your file location and it sent you to. This is what we care about. So you can go ahead and click on the Sims 4. My Most of you guys' versions should say X64 as well. Uh, but if you've got a slightly older PC, it might not, as I said. So you can go ahead and click open. And now it's found uh, the Sims 4. So it asks which rendering API does the Sims 4 use. The Sims 4 uses DirectX 9. So you want to go ahead and use this one. Uh, now, if you've already got Reshade installed, it could say update or it could say install. If you don't already have Reshade installed, it will go straight past this screen. So it doesn't even matter. So if you guys have already got Reshade installed, you can just go ahead and click update. If you haven't, this shouldn't even matter and it should lead you straight to this next page, which is where we can go ahead and install everything. Specifically for my Reshade preset, there's particular there's specific packages that you need to install you need to install the standard effects which obviously come as standard the sweet effects by cjdk go ahead and click the little button on that and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you also need the legacy shaders effects with you when using my reshade preset as well now for other reshade presets it could be slightly different i know there's quite a few of reshade presets that actually use these quints by marty mcfly so you could also just go ahead and install those now as well there's no harm in it then you can go ahead and click ok it will do a little bit of loading and it'll come up with these screens which has got a bunch of checklists so you want to make sure that everything on every single shader page is installed so on the sweet fx make sure that every single checkbox is selected if it is go ahead and click ok for the quint files make sure that everything is selected as long as everything has a tick box by it you're good to click ok if not make sure you go ahead and tick anything if it's not already ticked and on the legacy shaders you should also have everything ticked as well but obviously if you do not make sure you go ahead and do that as well you should be uh, left with a screen which says that reshade setup was successful and you can go ahead and edit your reshade settings so go ahead and click on this first and now it should show you which preset. So, so what this is doing, this is everything that your uh, reshade should automatically load up. Now, currently in my game, I'm using the Dove 2.0. When you load up the Sims 4 game for the first time, this will be whatever reshade preset you want it to like load up by default. So whatever reshade preset you're using, you know, uh, for the majority of the time, I would obviously go ahead and recommend using mine if you've installed mine, but you might also have somebody else's reshade preset as well. But we're just doing this installation based on mine. So, so go ahead and click on these three little dots and it should link you to the same place where we was earlier. Now, this is where you're gonna put all your reshade presets, okay? So you can see I've got a bunch in here. Look at all these, see these, these dot INIs? These are all reshade presets. I have my reshade presets here, the V1 version and the V2. I want you to go ahead and copy those, grab them from wherever you've got them. You can obviously desktop's fine as well. And go ahead and drag those into this folder. Go ahead and click that. And then you can go ahead and select whatever preset you've got. So if you're using the V2 version, go ahead and select that. Or if you're using the standard version, go ahead and click that. So for future reference, if you're going to install any other reshade presets that are not my own, they also go in this exact same bin. As you can see, all the other ones are in here. But for the, for the time being, if you're using my reshade preset, go ahead and click whichever version you're using. Um, so V2 or V1, whatever one it is, and then you can go ahead and click OK. All right, and then something else you might want to go ahead and do is also to set up your screenshot path because when you normally take screenshots in game with the C button, which is how you'd normally do it, it won't include your reshade on top. 
So if you want to take those really pretty in-game screenshots, you want to make sure you go ahead and change your screenshot path. So go ahead and click on this. And this is basically wherever you want your Sims 4 screenshots to go. I, I've made my own folder for it. So I've got mine in Sims 4 images, but you could also go ahead and put it in the place where um, your Sims would normally store the screenshots, which is in screenshots just here. All right, so then you should be completely done. Everything should be all good and fine. And we can just go ahead and click okay. Um, and then we can just go ahead and close this. Now we should be able to load into the game. Reshade should already be installed. And then we can just go ahead and select whatever preset we want. Okay, so the first time you load up the game, it's gonna take a, like a, a while to load up. But if you saw in the top, we just wanna wait until The Sims 4 loads. Now bear in mind, your, the first time that you reload The Sims 4 with Reshade installed, it could take a long time to load. So if your Sims 4 normally takes like five minutes to load, it could take 10 minutes, okay? So when you're in game, your game might look a little bit different. Um, obviously the colors might look a little bit different as well because you should already have the Reshade set up because we did it earlier. But really quick, to get to our Reshade box and to customize it in game, you can go ahead and press your home button. Now, this is only for people with a full keyboard. Some of you guys are on a laptop and I've heard that you have to go press ahead and press the FN button and search through your keyboard and there should be a button that says home on it somewhere, okay? Potentially, uh, it'll be somewhere on your keyboard. Obviously, your keyboard will be a lot smaller, but you might have to go ahead and press FN and then press the home button, okay? But most people's keyboards, it'll just be a straight up home button, but just, you know, just to let you guys know, it could be that. Go ahead and press your home button and up the top here, you can go ahead and click it and in here, it should show all your reshade presets. So as you can see, all these dot INIs. So depending on which version you've installed of my reshade preset, you might have the original version installed or you might also have the V2 version installed. So you can go ahead and swap between them just by clicking on them. So let's go ahead and swap to my V1 version. You can go ahead and click that and then click select and it should swap to my V1 version. If you don't see these boxes ticked, you probably have not installed the right shaders. You need to go back and double check that part of the video to make sure you've installed everything correctly. If you want to go ahead and swap to the V2 version, we can go ahead and just click down here and swap to the V2 version of the Miss Lollipop Vibrance Reshade preset. Go ahead and click select and then it'll put the V2 version on. The, the only difference between the two is one is brighter one is slightly darker that is the only difference okay <laughs> now um i recommend turning on performance mode if you guys don't anticipate on like changing any of the settings or anything like that which i wouldn't really recommend if you don't know what you're doing just go ahead and turn on performance mode i find that it normally just makes my game run better whilst i've also got my reshade running as well now a few other things that you might want to know is there's a little settings bar just up here you might want to go ahead and change a few things so the first thing you might want to change is the overlay key so the key to actually get up this overlay to customize your reshade or to change reshade if you can't find your home button and you find it difficult to find that button or whatever it is you can go ahead and change that button to something else if you want to set it to one or two or or f1 or a button just set it to a button that you're not going to often use you know otherwise it's going to keep coming up and this one is your effect toggle key now i've got this set to oem8 which is like a random key on my keyboard um, this this is blank. If you go ahead and click on it, then you can click a button on your keyboard and it will set it up to whatever that is. This is to turn your reshade off completely. So if I go ahead and, and come in game, if I press that button that I've got it set up to, you can see that the game slightly changes. So this is the game without reshade and this is it with. This is a really nice way of being able to test out reshade and you know the reshade preset you've got installed and to see the difference that it makes in game or without. Um, a few other things that you might wanna do is obviously we set up the screenshot path, but you might wanna set up a, uh, a screenshot key. I've got mine set up to print screen. So again, you click on, so where it says screenshot key, you click on this, uh, click on this area and you should see it like flashing as if you're gonna type something. But what you're gonna do is go ahead and press a button on your keyboard that you want it to be. I've got mine set to print screen. So when I click print screen, up here it says screenshot successfully saved to and then the position that it's saved to or whatever folder I've got it saved to. And now if I go to that folder, I'll see a screenshot with my reshape preset or basically like this game, whatever. And I think that should be it. I don't think there should be anything else for us to cover. Um, but if you guys have any issues, please, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to help everybody out. Obviously, it's difficult to do a reshade tutorial to show you how to install it because everyone's computer can be a little bit different. 
but I'm trying to do it as easy as possible for you to find your game, where to install it and to, you know, to make it as easy as possible. So please let me know if you found this helpful. And yeah, just let me know what you thought of it. If you didn't find it helpful, let me know. I want the constructive criticism. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Please make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Remember to go ahead and subscribe if you are new. I make a bunch of Sims videos over on my channel. I do a lot of Sims Let's Plays. I do a lot of mod reviews, stuff like that, pack reviews, everything. Um, I also stream over on Twitch if you want to come join me. I stream five days a week and I play uh, a challenge over there as well. It's very similar to my, you know, normal series videos. Um, if you want to come watch me live and yeah, I love you guys and I will speak to you in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you and I will see you all later. Bye guys! We could try to be more